Hey, uh, today is October 31st, 2019. It's about 8, let's see, 8, 10 in the morning. Um, I want to show you guys um, the cake that I did yesterday night. Um, it is a Halloween themed cake. I did it for my job and we're going to have a potluck and everything. So I want to dedicate um, this video to my friend that actually passed away yesterday. It's very sad news. Um, it just sucks so bad that, you know, we lose touch of people. Um, and, you know, I knew that she was going through this, but I always saw her so positive, you know, going through chemo and stuff like that. And never in a million years did we think, oh my God, like she's not doing good at all um so um you know i've been kind of down since yesterday but you know life continues and all that we need to do is um valorar value our life value our family our children our friends and reach out to friends if we haven't reached out to them in a while, then maybe it's time to do that. You know, we don't know what people are going through. You know, we can only see what they place on social media, but you know, what does it cost us? A second, two seconds to reach out to our friends. I honestly don't have that many friends on my personal uh, Facebook or, and I don't have like a personal Instagram or anything like that. I like to keep my friends uh, small and close. So, um, you know, uh, I don't know. It's just a lot of emotions going on. And all I can say is you're in a better place now, Isa. And, you know, you'll always have a special place in my heart, in my mind. You definitely did play a, a role in my life as a child, uh, you know, when I was in high school. And you were always so, you know, positive, talking about Jesus and stuff like that, which is great. Um, you know, it makes you look at life so much more different, you know, and that's really it. Uh, thank you, everyone, and thank you, everybody, for subscribing. Um, I will be making another video uh, about uh, the cake that I, I am giving away. Um, I already have a winner. She hasn't contacted me yet for, for the date she wants it, but I'm sure it's going to be soon. And thank you. Everybody have a great day today. Bye. Okay, so I want to give you guys the recipe for this carrot cake. Um, this is basically it. Um, the, you know, I doubled the recipe. So even though it says like one and a half cups of carrots, of course, I use three cups of carrots this is a picture of uh, me blending it um, and I did use four cake pans the size the six inch size and um, that's basically you know when you double the recipe you can do a total of four pans um, I did use cream cheese buttercream and I did uh, color it with gel food coloring I did black, orange, and purple. Um, you know, I thought I, that would good, that would go good with theme. So I'm putting the buttercream in the pastry bags, um, in the pipe, pastry pa piping bags, and um, what I did is I put several, I guess, different colors in between the layers. Um, the black was in the middle and then in the outside of it, I put an orange um, And then in the next layer, I do the opposite color, which is purple um, You know black in the middle and then purple in the outside That's I mean, honestly, this cake was pretty simple to make It wasn't this this uh, cake will feed about 10 12 people maybe maybe more because it is a taller you know, it's every every layer is about two inches, so it's about six inches high. Uh, high, so you know it will feed. You know, maybe it'll feed even fifteen. I don't know. It just depends. 
Um, this is a really fun cake to do. Um, I've actually never made a Halloween cake. Um, but this is my first one. I guess you could say second of the other pumpkin one I made counts as one. Um, the buttercream, all I used to get it, that color, um, black is a gel food coloring in color black. I did let the cake sit in the freezer for about 15 minutes prior to me putting the black buttercream just because it was, I felt like the cake was still a little bit warm so the buttercream started to melt. That's the worst thing you can do is, you know, start putting on buttercream or any type of cream on your cake without it actually resting, you know, maybe 30, 40 minutes after you've baked it. So that was an error I did uh, because I was trying to rush and go to sleep because I have to wake up in the morning and go to work. So um, for all of you that don't know me, I do work Monday through Friday. And then during the weekends, I, I bake and decorate cakes and sell them. So, um, you know, that um, icing comb that I have, it does, it does have like some cutouts. As you can see, when I'm passing it through the buttercream, it's leaving out some of the icing. So it gives you room to put another color or even, you know, if I wanted to use white or whatever color, and then you can just comb over through it and it will give you the lines. I have done it a, a separate, a different way without the comb. I just really wanted to try it to see what was the whole buzz uh, since it, this is something that's, you know, going on and stuff like that and everybody's using this type of comb. I thought it was okay, but I felt like the colors faded in too much. Maybe I just need more practice with it. But overall, I mean, I, th I think it was pretty okay. Um, I really like the, the colors the purple and it looks kind of blue there but it really was purple um i guess it could just be the lighting it was at night and i didn't use a light you know the light in the kitchen is like yellowish almost but um that's practically it um i do try to to clean up the bottom of the cake board constantly but sometimes I just wait until the end because it does leave a whole bunch of mess. I don't know if you if you guys can see it on the cake board. It's like super duper messy. But sometimes cleaning it, you're just going to get it dirty again. So that's practically it. Um, smoothing out the top, getting it nice and flat. And that's really it, guys. Um, I really enjoyed doing this, uh, this cake. Okay, so this cake topper I literally bought last minute. I went to Dollar General last night and I think it was like a, like you, this you hung on a doorknob. And what I did is I removed the ribbon that it had and then I got a, a dowel and I glued it. I super glued, not super glued it. I uh, used a hot glue gun and then I stuck it in the cake. I thought it was so cute because it's a black cat and it's Halloween. It's really adorable. Um, what I'm piping there is purple, orange, and black on the top of the cake. And I also did it on the bottom. Um, it made it look a little more cuter. Um, or I guess I guess it more like it had of a, a dimension, like different types of layers. I guess you could say. I added these really cute sprinkles that have like moons and stars, you know, black, silver, um, on the cake to make it look more Halloweenish, and it looks super adorable. What do you guys think? Do y'all like it? I loved it. The little black cat is so cute. 
but that's basically it um, I did um, I did this cake probably it took me like the whole process took me like three hours um, even though it's a small cake with the baking you know doing all that stuff um, it does take you know it a cake never takes you just like 30 minutes <laughs> that's the final look it's so cute my god and I did take a picture that's the picture of the kitty cat with the little Halloween hat. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a good day. Bye.